Charles Labs by Lady Gaga, it ain't playing no games. They came out with new makeup and we have shades for days. This collection had me inside of Sephora for two days in a row trying to see what I wanted to get. They came out with so many different colors of everything that is not even funny. For the first time in my life, I felt overwhelmed with a collection to the point that I was like, I don't know. I don't know what to do, I don't know what to get. I just think that less is always more, but. I picked up two colors of the Power Pigment paints. They're $24, made in Italy. They're supposed to last 12 hours, high pigment, and you can use them on the eyes, lips, cheeks and body we have 11 matte shades available i know that's a lot i got one of them the yellow one which is perfect for summer and then we also have nine shimmery ones i got two of them the burgundy one it is a deep red purple and then this one is a rose gold also picked up one of the liners 22 dollars a made in friends we have 13 matte shades available and five shimmers i picked up the gold shimmery one we get a brush in one side and then look how stunning this color is. It pulls green, gold with a little bit of black. Look at that. And it's so, so creamy. And you already know that I'm a big fan of these little brushes. And the other side, because they help you diffuse the product. Boom, boom, boom. This one is a little bit stiff. I would like it to be a little softer, but still does the job. I like it. It's plastic free, long wear, high impact, waterproof, waterline safe, and it's supposed to glide. This is what I have on my eyes, so let me bring you all up in my grill and show you really quick how I created this look. This eye look is popping from a mile away. Of course, we have to tape it up. This is how my hand is looking from this eye. I want you to do the same thing. We're gonna start with the color burgundy. And I want you to apply a little bit right here in the back of your hand, about that much. No more than that, cause once this dry, it ain't going nowhere. So if you apply too much, you're gonna waste it. Don't have to run, but we do have to work fast. I'm gonna be using the Makeup of Mario EF1 brush. I'm gonna be picking it up with this eye. And I'm gonna apply it on my whole entire lid. Always going in the same direction. So the first thing you have to do is create your shape. And what I like the most about it is that even though it's already drying, it still gives you room to play and drag it out a little bit more. See, look how even it looks. I'm gonna apply a little bit more right here in the back of my hand. The same amount that we did before. I'm gonna pick it up with the same brush. And I'm just gonna apply right here all the way to my outer V. And I'm doing the little tapping motions, dragging it upwards. You still feel that you have to diffuse the edges a little bit more. Wet your brush with a little bit more of product. Lay it down right here in the center of your lid where you have the most product and then drag it upwards and then I'm just literally like tapping the edges and so everything is nice and diffuse now we're gonna go with rose gold let's apply a little bit right here in the back of our hand I'm gonna pick it up with the other side of the same brush and we're gonna apply right on top of the burgundy shade starting from the inner corner dragging it all the way to matter v wow, wow this shade makes the eye look stand out so much more make sure you always go in the same direction and keep your eye open like that for like a few seconds until it dries because if you close it before time it's going to crease on you i really love that this rose gold shimmer it looks like glitter but it's not messy at all Oh, now we're gonna go in with the liner. I picked up the gold shimmery black one and I'm just gonna apply a little bit right here on Matter V. I'm gonna create like a little small wing. And then now with the little brush side, I'm just gonna diffuse it a little bit. And be gentle when you do this because you don't wanna disturb the liquid pigment 
which to be honest with you i really do like this liner i love the brush on the other side but not for this type of looks because the brush is too hard too dense so if you do it the wrong way you're gonna disturb the liquid pigment so now i'm gonna need a little bit of a burgundy powder eyeshadow i'm gonna be using this one from tom ford this one is the body heat quad and i'm gonna pick it up with a blending brush i'm gonna use it right here to diffuse these edges even more because i'm like too picky too extra and that to me it will drive me crazy I'm just gonna do a little tap in motion and don't worry if you bring it up too high we're gonna clean the brow bone you see how much better and neat it looks if you diffuse the edges I'll be cleaning my brow bone with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Pro Pencil. I told you about this already. You need this, especially if you're a beginner. Look at that. So much better. I'm going to go apply a little bit of mascara. You go and put on your lashes and I'll be back. I'm using this lash primer from Lancome, which is really, really good, especially if you have like straight lashes this will help not for nothing but this looks beautiful i applied a little bit of the gold shimmery black eyeliner on my waterline now let's do the lower lash i'm gonna be using my flat defender from sonia g i'm gonna go in with the burgundy color i'm gonna apply a little bit more right here in the back of my hand the very first little bit of product i'm gonna lay down right here in the outer part of my lower lash now i'm just gonna apply it on my whole entire lower lash and remember no blending we always want to tap the product in. You keep them nice and close, because if not, they're going to dry it up on you and you're going to have to throw them away. I'm going to apply a little bit of the rose gold. And with the same flat defender brush, I'm going to apply a little bit right here in the inner part of my lower lash, right on top of the burgundy. Also, a little bit right here on the tear duct. And of course, we need mascara on the bottom lashes always now this is proof everything guys like this will not come off with a cheap freaking makeup remover so i'm gonna recommend you this one from lancome it's like the best of the best and with this it comes off right away which i also love that about this product that it won't come off easily but it does come off easy with makeup remover you feel me okay, so now it's time for one of the most exciting products of this whole entire collection power sculpt velvet bronzer it is 38 dollars made in italy and it's available in 13 shades there's a shade here for everybody and tell me something about this packaging i love the color this little rubbery hard plastic situation that we get in the front the back is plastic but i think this is so freaking cute look how stunning this baby looks inside and it's infused with fermented arnica which is 816 percent more effective than regular arnica what? what i'm a firm believer of arnica arnica for everything i swear it's just a great anti-inflammatory and for the hyperpigmentation it's heaven the shade a which is a medium to medium deep with cool golden undertones and oh my god the formulation of it it is so soft and velvety and just like oh look at that shade first things first let's see how the bronzer looks on bare skin with no makeup on you already know that if it looks good without makeup it's gonna look stunning with makeup i'm gonna be using my surat brush and i picked up about that much and let's see so we do see it a little bit but we definitely have to build it up right there it looks like a pretty subtle bronzer oh my god wow this looks toasty bronzy sunburn like if i just got out of the beach yes totally my type and i'm not sure if you're gonna peep it from over there which i'm sure you are seeing what i'm seeing but this bronzer it's giving me a beautiful blurring effect like my skin it's blurred Ow, look at that. This is with and without. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> and it's not too orange or too reddish. It's like the perfect undertone. Ugh. I see the blurring effect all the way from over there. It's like a beautiful finish. Like it's natural velvety. My skin looks velvety. 
that's the perfect definition of it yes go apply foundation and concealer and i'll be back normally on top of makeup i will contour first and then bronze my face up but we're not gonna do that today i'm not gonna contour before this because i want you to be able to see the actual shade on my skin on top of foundation so it is buildable normally i would tell you that i want the pigmentation right away but this product is so weightless and delicate and velvety that it's not bothering me at all that is buildable. Look at that. It immediately blurs the skin. Oof. So pretty. This is with and without. Mm. I love it. Even though this product is buildable, you have to watch out because it's gonna make you wanna just keep going and keep going and it gets intense pretty fast. It's giving me a beautiful, soft, matte, velvety finish. Like, velvet is not just the name. Like, this is literally velvet for your skin. I lower my lights and I brought you closer. Like, it makes my skin look so soft. I don't even want to apply blush. I don't want to apply nothing on top of this bronzer. I want it just like this. One more and more. But I don't need no more. <laughs> and it's also talk free. Mm. Yes. Now this one is a gel powder highlighter. It is $40 made in Italy. It's available in 10 shades and the packaging is also super pretty. Look at that finish. But this one is all plastic though. We don't get the same situation that we get right here no but this one is also infused with fermented arnica which thank you and oh my gosh look at the highlighter super gliding gel powder highlighter has a blurring effect that optically blurs the skin weightless formula it's made with a transparent gel base infused with multi-dimensional pearls and reflecting pigments that delivers pure radiance in a soft focus glow this looks so stunning it is buildable it didn't give me like a lot of intensity from the giggle you guys know i love my highlighters to blind you from across the room but this is nice i like how it looks when the light hits it it's not too dark it's not too light it's like the perfect shade for my skin complexion they notice that she has two type of formulations one that is like more of a solid highlighter and then this one does have like little particles of like shimmers you know glitter in there it's not emphasizing texture though at all and that's the reason why i got this formulation because i wanted to see if it was going to emphasize texture and nope not at all I did thought that the shade was going to be a little bit more boom in your face. It's pretty though. It is. Like, it looks soft, but intense at the same time. Perfect if you do want your highlighter to show, but you don't want to look too extra. We have two more products. My lights, they're about to die. Please don't leave me hanging. One of the lip crayons, it is $22, made in Germany. Both demi matte shades available and one shimmer. I loved the packaging. This is the shade Peach Matte. Mmm. Okay. Wow, it is creamier than what I thought it was gonna be. Look at that, mm. and so velvety. I love the fact that the tip it's super sharp, so you can use it for lip liner and lipstick. The formulation reminds me of the ones from Rose Ink. Remember I told you guys that they were super soft, but this formulation is gripping a lot more and better onto the lips like i already feel that this formulation it ain't going nowhere i love the formulation i love the color i love everything about it and i do believe that they're gonna last a long time on the lips and i picked up one of the lip oils they're 24 dollars made in usa everything here it's made in 
different places. The shade secondary, I think it was the most unique out of the four shades available. Actually now for summer, I think the shade is gonna look juicy. It's supposed to be a hydrating wash of sheer high impact, a non-sticky color. I'm gonna apply a little bit right here because I don't wanna get my applicator dirty. I got about that much. Pick it up with my finger. It is shiny. Okay, it's nice and orangey. I did thought that the applicator was gonna be a bit bigger, but mm, I like it. Babes, out of this whole collection, I'm telling you right now, you need to run, you need this bronzer in your life. The velvety formulation of this bronzer, it's so unique. I don't have anything in my collection like it, which sounds crazy because I have so many bronzers, but this is just like extremely soft, extremely smooth, and just so, so velvety. I also like the highlighter, but it's not a must-have. I feel like if you already have a lot of highlighters, you don't need this. And if you really want to pick it up, I really recommend you to go and try that like super light pinky shade. I'm going to go and pick that one up tomorrow because that one is going to do like highlighter and blush at the same time. I don't know why I didn't pick that one up. And I like this so much. I love the fact that the rose gold, it's extremely freaking shiny. It literally almost look like glitter, but it's not. Save the mess. Get this. And I don't think I swatched the yellow one. Let me show you. I picked up this one to apply more like a base. And then go in with yellow powder shadow on top of it to just make the look more extra but this is nice appreciate the fact that they don't dry too fast and they don't leave you with that nasty harsh edge i did apply a little bit of powder eyeshadow but because i wanted to and not because you i need think to. it's so funny because i wasn't even excited about this pigment paints at first and i'm actually liking them a lot more than what i thought i was gonna like them i'm loving them to be honest with you i want the red one i'm also gonna pick up the orange one this yellow one, it's fire. And one of the things I love the most is that they don't stain. You don't have to worry about them staining your eyes, which <laughs> I think we all hate them. Look at this. And then the pigmentation, it's like out of this world. This rose gold is the one that I love the most about these three shades because it's so sparkly. You just have to make sure you remove them with a makeup remover because if you just remove them like this they will leave a stain but if you use a nice makeup remover which i'm using this one from lancome everything comes off right the fuck away Hello. I'm really in love with this whole entire makeup look, especially the eye look. Don't forget to let me know in the comment section down below which one is your favorite product out of this whole collection. And I love you to the moon and back. Mwah! See you on the next one.